Okay, hello and welcome to the show. Uh, comedy cigars and uh, music. And today's cigar for review, without further ado, is the Castagli Basilica A. Now off the foot and wrapper, I'm getting vanilla, hay, barnyard, cream, and milk chocolate. That's what I'm getting. All right, so that handsome fella right there on the band, that is Emmanuel Castagli, and he is the patriarch of the Castagli family. And as you can see, the foot of the cigar has what Castagli Cigars calls a flared foot. And you can find all that information that I just said um, on CastagliCigars.com. And I would recommend you check out their site. A lot of cool information, and it's a really well done website. So, there you go. Alright, so here's what we got. Right off the bat here, haven't touched the wrapper yet, okay? The wrapper has not gotten burned yet. Right off the bat, we got a little bit of tobacco in there, some earth and nuttiness. Really good, and there's this nice sweetness that is, uh, what I would say, is quite present. The finish is some nuttiness. There's just a, a slight hint of spice coming in there. Just a slight hint, and that's actually, from when I, just when I started talking to now, is actually kind of ramping up. So as it sits there, that spice is intensifying. Okay, intensifying. Uh, I'd like to use that word for it. I think that's a good word. On the retrohale, really just some of that nice tobacco and earth. Uh, that tobacco, I would say, is more present though than the earth. So that's the retrohale. Uh, by retrohale, um, in case you don't know, by retrohale, I mean when I, uh, when I draw the smoke in uh, to my oral cavity, and then I, the retrohale is when I release some of the smoke out of my nasal cavities. So that's the retrohale right there. Now the draw here right now is just slightly snug, okay? Uh, kind of like if you've gained some winter weight there and you're trying to get your, uh, maybe your shorts or your uh, spring uh, pants or jeans, uh, slacks pulled up and you kind of have a little snag. They go, they go up, uh, but you kind of got to kind of pull them over some of that extra, um, how do I say this, a body. Uh, so just a little snug there. The smoke output from what I'm getting is pretty good. So uh, really right now, uh, we are off to the races. I can say that much. Okay, and I've taken a couple other draws and I'm starting to get just a slight buttery note in there. Okay, so we're getting some, uh, some butter. That's a buttery note, it's butter. Um, so we're gonna keep, uh, we're gonna keep smoking this, this uh, puppy down and uh, and uh, we'll uh, see what we get. So it'll be good. It's gonna be a nice adventure. I, I feel like this is gonna be a good adventure like uh, uh, Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. I think it's gonna be a good adventure. And assuming nobody gets their heart pulled out of their chest cavity. All right, so we are well into the first third here, actually almost getting into the second third, if I'm being totally honest and um, objective and um, evaluating correctly. And that burn line, now that burn line is what I would refer to as rootin' tootin', which, which means it's good, it's good. So flavor-wise, uh, earth, a nice toastiness in there, okay? and then getting a little bit of roasted coffee on the flavor, but the roasted coffee is pretty subtle. In fact, um, the cigar at this point has been, I would say fairly mild, okay? On the retrohale, really just getting some nice earth. And then on the finish, now the finish where I said that spice, oh, well, there's a motorcyclist. All right, and you uh, might notice the ash is gone. Well, what happened was uh, shortly after that uh, motorcyclist passed, uh, my battery, showed that uh, I need a new battery. It, the camera said, I need to change my battery pack. So uh, when I was doing that, came back, took a little puff and the ash fell off, all in a nice solid clump, very nice. Anyway, I believe I was at the finish. Roasted coffee, and it's like a ground roasted coffee. It's really good, dark chocolate, and there's also a little uh, buttery note that has come in on the finish. The spice that I was talking about is um, all gone. There's no spice there now. So, uh, just very enjoyable, smooth right now. So, good. That's good. 
Okay, and while it's on my mind, uh, I'd like to thank our sponsor, 58ring.com. Uh, 58ring.com, your cigar experience enhanced. And some people like to enhance that cigar experience with a ta-da, cha-ching, a little bit of coffee. Uh, this particular blend from 58ring.com, uh, which by the way, is roasted order, um, is the uh, Sumatra. So you have the, the uh, 58 ring coffee uh, Sumatra. And they do have um, other, other blends. This is the uh, Sumatra. Now as far as the components of this cigar go, uh, the wrapper and binder are both from the Dominican Republic. And then you have the fillers, of course. Uh, so those come from the Dominican Republic, Nicaragua, the USA, the US of A, and uh, Peru. And while we're just sitting here, I thought of a story I would share with you guys. I have a buddy that's on Instagram and he's talking to this gal, but he says her name's Pamela. She goes by the uh, uh, handle or whatever of uh, I'm yours 867 uh, 5309. She's been asking him for money. He said he hasn't sent any money. He sent a couple Amazon cards, uh, read off a couple iTunes cards, uh, their number on the back. He said it doesn't seem like a big deal. He's only spent about $500 doing that. And I told him to be careful. And he said, hey, you know, this isn't uh, Beverly Hills Cop here. He said, I'm not going to fall for the banana in the tailpipe. So that's good. That's good. I'm glad. But uh, he said that she's reached out to him and said that she would like to meet him in person. And she asked him to just bring cash, which I find curious. But he says he thinks it's true love. Uh, he's supposed to bring cash. And he, uh, she's supposed to have uh, somebody else meet him. Goes by the name of Sal. I, I, I guess I don't know what's going to happen there. But it seems he seems pretty happy about the arrangement. So. All right, well, we are uh, delving, or have delved, I guess, have delved into the second third of the cigar. And flavor-wise, leather, this very subtle fruitiness, and from time to time, there's still that toastiness, and now just a little bit of vanilla has started coming in, okay? This might seem odd, but on the retrohale, when the, the, when the smoke is first, upon initial uh, exiting of the nasal cavity it is a nice smooth earth and then as you finish finish pushing that smoke out of the nasal cavity you get this leather now on the finish not the finish of the retrohale which expelled smoke from your nasal cavity on just the finish what's left there what's kind of lingering until the next draw there is just some leather and that fades away fairly quickly and you're just kind of left with this clean uh, palette, clean palette. And don't mistake that for um, a painter's palette. Some people do that in spelling. They sound the same, but they're uh, spelled differently. If you say that you're getting a flavor on your palette and it's spelled like an artist's palette, um, people might think that you're, uh, you know, licking one of Bob Ross's old uh, paint palettes. So just keep that in mind. I got a little bit of ash, gonna clean that off the table. That's gonna bug me to no end. I wipe the table a lot because if I see little specks of dust, I gotta get it off there. I just gotta get it off. Not, dang it. But anyway, hold on a second, sorry. I'm getting a call here. Hey, what's going on? No, 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 no bother at all, just doing a review. Well, I know you're supposed to meet Pamela. Yes. She wants you to bring how much cash? Uh, well, I think, I think 500 seems a little excessive. You feel like you can trust her? Well then, okay, well, if you feel like you can trust her, and she's gonna meet you once it gets dark behind the old grocery store that's closed down. Okay, well, that checks out. She doesn't want you to bring your cell phone. Oh, that seems a little, hello? Hello? Okay, well, apparently my buddy's gonna meet this girl later tonight. Uh, I'm not, I don't wanna judge. That's the last thing I wanna do, you don't wanna judge. You wanna, you, you just wanna let it fly, let it ride out. All right, we are uh, into the final third here. And uh, just right off the bat, I did have just one minor burn touch up, so no big deal. Uh, as my uh, mom used to say, uh, nothing to get your panties in a bunch about. 
Not sure how I feel about the word panties. Anyway, when I was uh, just sitting here smoking, I was looking up stuff on the uh, YouTube, on the internet, or as the kids are calling it today, the interwebs. And I watched a, um, a live rendition by the band AHA of Take On Me from circa 2005. Two things about the lead singer. For one, still sounds really good. Uh, I guess three things in. Three things. Two, I noticed he came out wearing a pair of those uh, sunglasses that you put over your regular glasses. And halfway through, he abandoned those, even though it didn't seem to get any uh, darker. So that was uh, just something I noted. And he was also wearing a pair of uh, Capri denims. Uh, I'm not sure how I feel about that. I myself prefer uh, long, uh, or what you might know as standard denims. Anyway, I digress. Uh, Flavor-wise, on the final third here, that toastiness is still present. A little bit of uh, fruitiness in there, but it's a very subtle fruitiness. A little bit of dark chocolate in there still. And uh, maybe once or twice I got some black pepper spice. It was very subtle and kind of pulled that stuff together. On the retro hail, just a nice, clean, smooth earth, okay? And then on the finish here, what we have is, so it was kind of that leather in the second third. Well, that leather has kind of combined with this roasted coffee. So it's kind of this leather roasted coffee. So that roasted coffee kind of takes some of that edge or what you might consider harshness off that leather. Okay, and then as it smooths out a little bit more, you end up with a little bit of subtle fruitness in there, and then it just is a nice, clean finish. So now we come to rating this cigar on a scale of one to four. I'll be honest with you, um, I have also had a chance to try out a couple more things from Castagli, the uh, Cottontail, the Grand Mareva, uh, I believe those were both reviewed on this channel. Uh, the Cottontail, uh, was excellent, and the Grand Mareva was really good. Having the knowledge of those two especially, and just this cigar as itself, I would give this cigar a two. Uh, that's not a bad rating, just I preferred the Cottontail and the Grand Mareva a little bit better, so I'd give this cigar a two. There's no problem in trying a pair of denim Capri pants. So, yeah. Now, with that being said, I will say that the burn line uh, on this cigar was excellent. I just had the one minor burn touch up, no biggie, at the end there. And then uh, the ash consistently. Uh, I have three clumps here in my ashtray. They all fell off, solid clumps, no problem. The draw and the smoke output actually got better as I went along. Actually, in the second third of the cigar, the smoke output and the draw were pretty much exactly how I like a cigar. So those uh, issues that I had at the beginning a little bit there, they ended up uh, working it out. The smoke time for this cigar came out to two hours and 10 minutes. Well guys, uh, I appreciate you uh, joining me. Um, if you enjoyed this review, have enjoyed other things you've seen uh, on the channel, uh, I would encourage you to like and subscribe. We always appreciate that. Uh, uh, people are coming in uh, all the time enjoying what we do, getting what we do here. Please make sure any questions, comments you have below, uh, for, for the love of God, leave them below. Uh, we definitely want to see those. Uh, we'll get right back to you. It's not an issue, not an issue at all. We appreciate it. So guys, until next time, uh, you know, I would implore you to be cool to each other, dance like nobody's watching, uh, sing like uh, nobody's listening. You know, like, take on me, take on me. Just sing it. Sing it with your heart, sing it with your soul, uh, sing it with your body. And uh, you keep doing that, and uh, we will see you very soon.